Hello everyone! Now, welcome back to Trevor's Gaming Room. I'm your host, Ethan, as always, and again, still here for part no, five with Gooptastic. Hello. It's great, still great that you're here with me. Yeah, it's an honor being here as well. Alright. So, I don't know if we can still hear Stewie or Brian, which is still sad to this day. Rip. Yeah. But we promise you all, as soon as we can figure it out, we'll put it, we'll, we'll fix it. Yep, we will. And we will try, and I will try my best. Because I'm the one doing all of this. Yes, I will be there for uh, moral support. <laughs> yep. Moral Alright, fellas, there's a sniper rifle waiting for you on the top floor of the book depository tree. Oh, okay, I see what we're doing here. Here's some silencer for your weapon so you don't alert the security guard of your presence, and here are some bologna sandwiches. You'll never know if you get hankering for a circular meat. Thanks, we're gonna go do that thing now. Godspeed, gentlemen. Also, the movie Speed, just in case. It was really nice of him to make those sandwiches, but I'm not gonna eat mine. Get up to the rooftop, y'all can sneak around. Okay, okay, so some guy named Les may show, show up in this parking lot. lot. Just pretend we don't see him. Alright, so we can't buy anything. Um, Alright, so which one of y'all? Oh, this is trippy. Oh, yeah, if you're near some smoke, you can do this. Mostly marijuana. Look. Yo, Goob. Yeah, I think. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, the laser has a silencer. That's actually kind of cool. I you would been think that the laser wouldn't me. need a silencer, though. I'm gonna go put y'all little labels on the guy. Damn it! I shot the guy like one time! How did I alert like like seven others? Oh you guys! I can't even hit one of them! You're going to expect this. Protect the man, that's our job. It does. I think to magic. Oh my god. Uh, real quick before we continue, uh, Trevor, do you mind uh, putting up the thing so I can read the, the lines for Brian? I mean, the things like quotes, like during like you know, like when Brian is actually in the game, you don't hear that. Um, like during the cutscenes, you can read it. I know, but I but I can't see it. Yeah. There are no subtitles during the main game. No, what I mean by that is I can't see it at all. You can't see the game? No. Nope. Okay, I think you can see it. I don't even know what you're asking, Goob. Uh, I'm a fangy. Can you, can you please stream the fangy so I can see it? <laughs> Okay, my apologies, alright. Alright, there we go. Overload. How is it an overload, bro? It's like 16 S. Oh, it's still at 50 frames. Okay, I'm gonna use it. 
Also, for the last part, sorry there was so much frame drop. That's still... I, I, I don't know. We tried, but like... Uh, I tried, but like... There was nothing I can do. Still was like that. You know, I never liked this Consuela. I never liked her character. To be honest, like, her character was kind of just like... No, it was kind of just like... I still don't like her character to this day. She's just so okay. cringy. That's... 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 That's my opinion. She's just like super cringy. You agree, Goof? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, that's the store portal. Isn't it weird that we're about to do like a JFK assassination, yet it's for a cheeseburger? Yeah, that's a little. That's a little. It's kind of funny. Wait, okay. Do you remember Road to the Multiverse? That one episode where they went to the multiple universes. Uh, I can't say that I do. Road to the Multiverse. It's the. This game is a sequel to that episode. Really? That's cool. Yeah. Oh, okay, need to find the replacement part. Yeah, I don't know how to get there. Let's go up. Brian Griff. Hey, Bri, I bet cheeseburger mayors are pretty rare. No, this has been cheeseburger too. This is Brian Griffin. No. Hey, Goop. Yeah. This is Jackass 4, and I'm gonna cause an, a cheeseburger assassination. Still find it funny that the developers of this game was like a cheeseburger. Now all I can see is like, anytime in any game a person mentions cheeseburger, you're just laughing your ass off because you can only think of this game. Yep. Hey man, I ate a cheeseburger. Like, me in the corner. <laughs> oh shit. No. Aha! Aha! You know, there's so much of Family Guy, like, there's so many reasons why Kukasik, you should rewatch Family Guy. Like, do you remember that one I ostrich? I have them. Do you remember that one ostrich character that would go like, Aha! I can't say that I do. It was like an ostrich, and every time, I think it was in the older seasons, or like the mid seasons, like... Mid is stretching it because there's been like 19, but I want to say around like... Season 7, 12 era, I think. Like, there used to be an ostrich that would go like, Aha! 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 Really? 
ostrich. I can't remember, but I think it was like around, I think the ostrich started to appear around like season five or like six. I think. Yeah, I wouldn't know of any ostrich. I remember like a chicken fight. I remember that. Oh yeah, Peter Ernie, his real name is Ernie. Yeah, did you actually know that chicken's name is Ernie? And the reason Peter and him fight so much is because Peter is still salty that he th that Ernie gave him a coupon and I died. Ouch. You know what, dude? Just so we can start like a Family Guy conversation, like, let's say you won a special contest and me and you get to like write an episode of Family Guy, write one. Like, you get to like me and you get to be the lead writers. What would you write about? Like, what what's an episode of Family Guy you want to do? Like, or you always wanted to do? Uh, Peter takes over uh, EA. There also has to be a, a plot, a B plot, and like, you have to expand on that, like, what would he do in EA? Would he push the company down further, or would he raise it from the action? Um, I, like, if, in my, and what I'm thinking is maybe make it where Peter was always the, uh, the one that was a he in the, the head of EA, and make him make all the decisions that they did in the past and stuff. And make it just super, super retarded. <laughs> like, imagine you wanna, you wanna play a farming game, except yet in the farming game you have to buy cows. Yes. And it's not like in-game cows. Like it's like DLC cows, like white cow, black cow, black cow with white spots. Like, imagine that. Although, well, that sounds like a great idea, and it would probably do it if they had to take your story and make it into a Family Guy episode. That sounds really similar to one. Since you're re-watching it, I won't spoil it, but I will say one part. Basically, Peter, like, um, Peter helps Carter with the situation while Carter's in the hospital. Okay. B plot, it could probably, uh, it could probably be a mix of, like, someone else, like, maybe, like, uh, you know, B plot, we always see a lot of Stewie and Brian B plots, but, like, what if we saw someone else, like, maybe a Meg and Lois B plot, or, like, something like that, or, like, a Brian and Chris B plot, or something cool like that. Yeah. Maybe make Stewie and Brian like the head of Nintendo. Oh, so a video game related episode. Yes. Or maybe like make Chris and Meg like. I don't know if this one's a good one, and I know it's been done to death, but I still want to do it. Maybe have an episode where Meg, like, Meg and Chris finally fucked, like, had, had it to hear with their, like, with their bullying. That they've gotten to the point where they finally stand up to the bullies. Get them expelled, all of them. No, get them expelled, and finally they have no bullies. But the school, like, they are so used to, like... Meg and Chris being bullied that like that like they'll like they'll want to get the bullies back and um and yeah and like Meg and Chris will become popular but they're considered too popular that they'll need bullies again. That sounds like uh what's already going on in Family Guy though. <laughs> Still but like no, but like, um, if I can put a spin on it, Chris and Meg become too popular. No, like, they become so popular that, like, they, like people are like, man, I want you to get, like, bullied, just so we can all eat. 
Now that's mean to make. I know, but then it's like... I don't know, Family Guy is just really weird, so yeah. Although I do want a decent episode for Magda. Although the Chris becoming popular, I think that's already- Yeah, it did happen, that one episode. Where- Yeah. Yeah. Meg ran away, or her no, death not Meg was ran fake. Away. Maybe Meg having a decent episode, like, maybe an episode where... Oh, it's similar to the one Scooby had. Like, an episode where Meg, uh... Where Meg wishes to be an altern in an alternate life, and when she wakes up the next morning, she's in a, like, in a totally different family that loves and respects her and, like, treats her well. That, that'd be a nice thing for Meg. Or like, maybe an episode, like, along with in that episode, I don't want to be, again, I really want Meg to have a good episode, but just like with all other episodes, no, um, Meg loves the life, but she still misses her family and, like, how funny they used to be because the people that I love and kind of respect her are just, like, pretty much spoiling her, like, and, like, aren't fun at all. They're kind of, like, high-class snobs. So, like, pretty much, and, um, and, yeah, pretty much in that episode, when Meg goes back to her normal life, from that, uh, episode, um, from all episodes... The ep from that episode to now, like, the family respects her more. Honestly, yeah, that'd be cool. Uh, honestly, while a lot of family guys... Well, to be honest, while I do want a decent episode for Meg, I kind of just, now, looking back at it, I kind of just want an episode where she's just loved and respected. Not even where she has the perfect life or the perfect runaway. Just like, just like Peter treat her normally for once. Like, Peter Griffin just comes in, but I always treat Meg regular and perfectly. The interesting thing is, like, not one of the cutaways is, like, literally, like, I still remember how it went. Meg entered the living room. Hi, Dad, and Peter just shoots her instantly. That's big bra moment. Guys, you shouldn't be here. That's like kind of what I want to wish now. Again, lots of Family Guy fans wish, uh, oh, I just want a decent episode for Meg or an episode for Meg where she just has a perfect life. But now I'm just kind of wishing the family would expect her more. Like, literally. Like, literally. Watching Family No, and I'm gonna say a controversial opinion of the Family Guy fandom. Well, everyone considers Peter from, like, the earlier seasons to be better and this Peter to be selfish and asshole greedy. I- I don't see that anymore. Like, how? The Peter- the- get this. The Peter from back then, I think the breaking point for me that I finally considered the older Peter sucks, like, in seasons 1 to 5 and stuff like that, like, Peter's not a perfect person, but the thing is, he literally gave up, he would literally give up his wife and let her be assassinated for some cake and a donut. That's the old Peter, and that's the Peter everyone considers perfect. And that's what I don't like about the Peter. Peter was just a complete selfish. Like, he was nice and funny, but he was just so selfish and greedy. Oh, we all are in a way, I guess. We all are selfish. And to everyone watching this, don't don't say, well, I'm not selfish. I, I think you're cool. Well, that may be true. There has been a moment in everyone's life, everyone's group, I'm talking to you as well, where you've been like, ah, oh, come on, I didn't want this, or I don't want this. We've all been selfish in our lives once, at least once or three times. Okay. Yeah. But Especially this, when we were when we were younger. Yes. But this Peter, I think the final breaking point was for me when he sacrificed his wife for like 
like, I think it was a cake or a donut during, like, a daughter's wedding. When, not his, but, like, a mom from a mafia boss. Like, that, that just gives me, like, vibes, like, remember that one Spongebob episode where, like, uh, Peter, uh, not, not Peter, um, Mr. Krabs sacrificed his best employee for, like, 60 cents? Why? That, it gave me that vibe when the Homer literally sacrificed his wife for a cake, I think. And now, now when Homer, I... Homer is one thing, Peter is another thing. Like, I've been, well, I'm not a big Simpsons fan, I have been wa watching recent Simpsons, and from what I'm seeing, I can't remember a uh, time- Uh, BRB. Oh, wow. Well. Okay, oh my god, ow, 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 ow. Finally, a day off. Get him. 
Gotta get a good base tan going. Gods and babies are strictly prohibited here. agents let me assassinate that cheeseburger and I will if it's the last thing I do yeah, I am back sorry for leaving so suddenly I just said I will assassinate that cheeseburger if it's the last thing I do oh yeah, yeah finally I realized assassinate I realize Dewey's special ability. I will use it, but uh, look. He can shoot more rapidly. And he reloads Whoa. faster. That's finally. So he, he turns into Han Solo. That's a Star Wars fan reference, and now you have to give me context okay, because well, I am not Star Wars Rita. fan. Doesn't Anyone? look like anyone's uh, gonna die Han today. Solo's a but wait, spoilers, 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 right, spoilers, guys? alert. So spoilers. You know, in fact. Still. For fans who want to know more about Star Wars but don't want to be spoiled. So, yeah, spoiler. Alright. Fantastic. Take it away. Time. Explain Star Wars. Star Wars takes place really, really long time ago. Stop right there. And um, it's with people that know how to aim versus the bad guys that really don't know how to aim. That's Put it best. plain and simple. Okay, so what does Stewie and Special Ability have to relate with Han Solo and Star Wars? Yeah, Han Solo shoots fast and doesn't miss. Just like how I'm doing, I'm missing. Oh my god, remember that one meme I showed you? It was like, I it was like, I love you, and then it shows, no, I, but, but I gotta go eat, and then it's like, a stormtrooper and and the girl said why'd you send that and the guy said because i'll miss you uh that's hilarious but that's also wholesome because you know, okay i'm throwing my grenades baby diapers check the mayor that's our job Ah, fam, your job is to watch the mayor. Like, literally, not figuratively. Yep. We are so close to assassinating a cheeseburger! Yes. Assassination of cheeseburger, man. Reload, reload, reload. Just give me the animation. That tastes nice. Alright, Goob. It's time to kill a cheeseburger from McDonald Land. Ronald McDonald is not gonna be happy. I wouldn't say. Brian, he's coming! I want to wave on it! Oh no! Wait, wait, we can. We've gotta shoot. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. Yeah, the poor mission. Wait, I, if I 
fail this mission. Wait, no. You know what? I'm gonna fail on purpose just so you can say mission failed. We'll get him next time in a Russian voice. Damn it. Look, you can say it in the Russian voice. Russian failed. We'll get him next time. Okay, but now for real, I'm gonna actually assassinate him. Alright. Oh, wait, what? Come on. Wait, I didn't get him. Get the cheeseburger. Hell yeah, I got the cheeseburger. I just thought, if we ever have kids, they'll be like, Dad, what did you do in during the pandemic? Uh, we assassinated a cheeseburger. In a video game. We don't even have oh, to wait, tell look, them that. Oh wait, look, Brian we talking, just... Brian talking. Look, guys, look. Hey, Brian, we just murdered a politician. We should get out of here. I'm nah. probably right, or am I right? Shot came from up here. Yeah, I'm right, and you're just a dog. I don't know, does a cheeseburger count as a politician? Well, technically, they just killed one. Wait, look! I can finally use another costume for the Let's Play. Okay, I'm gonna buy it. Hey, let's go! Now we have two costumes. I still remember the episodes where they came from, although I don't remember their names. Although, yes, this is from Stewie Kills Lois. Uh, spoiler warning, this is the- this costume is from the episode where Stewie kills Lois on a cruise ship, and then everyone blames Peter. This episode- <laughs> Uh, that's hilarious. Okay, Literally this everybody... costume- You killed her! No, I didn't. This costume- Br Brian coked out. I think this came from the episode, again, I- my memory is a little foggy, but I think this came from the episode where Brian was like a search dog or a drug dog. Like, you know those types of dogs they have to search for drugs? Yes. Like, he became a drug dog, but then when he got into like cocaine so much, he like, he started to use it and then he started to become coked out and that's why. I think? Yes, I still remember which costume this scene came from. He was like wearing it while a girl brought home. And Meg was like, wow, Brian, who's that? And Brian was like, hell, hey, how about a little less talk and more of shut the hell up? I think I remember that episode. I don't remember the name, but I do remember what happened in the episode. I, 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 I've, been, I've been binge watching Family Guy, but I gotta binge it just a little more just so I can remember the episode name. But yep, this is their costume. Wait, remember that walrus meme just spinning? Insert that music from like the walrus spinning. Like the the Splatoon meme you sent to me on Reddit. Uh that was a In good one. Insert that music. Uh, I don't remember it. Alright, but yeah, items No attributes, attributes. Alright, I'm getting the wacky inflatable arm flaming tool man, and I'm getting one Joe Swans. Why the hell not? Well, I think that's where we should end this uh, part of uh, five. Part five, yeah, part five. So this is where we should end uh, part five. Um, this we assassinated a cheeseburger. Yeah. Let's just be glad it wasn't the Cheeto Man. What is that supposed to represent? Uh, if anybody else uh, understands what I'm saying, <laughs> leave it down in the comments. <laughs> the assassinated a Cheeto Man. What? Oh, oh, is it because we hunt cheetahs as a human race? 
What? No, I said Cheeto. Not Cheeto. Che Cheeto, like the mascot? Or of the chips no. company? The chip. Like. Okay, but now nah, for real, this video has already become 31 minutes. Uh, exporting is gonna be a huge jerk and ass. So, um, thank you all for visiting Trevor's Gaming Room. Gooptastic, say something else. Do you want to say anything before the camera uh, turns off? Um, uh, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. Uh, you can check out my channel in the link in the description. I'm, I'm currently doing a Doom uh, playthrough. So if you want to check that out, it'll be there soon. And uh, just have a good day. And to all you watching, and to you all, to all you watching, thank you all for visiting Trevor's Gaming Room, and I'll see you next time. I'm your host, Ethan. Thank you for visiting.